Some of the benefits of manuka honey are that, one, it's got a very good taste. It's full flavoured, uh, I love it. It has um, unique um, qualities in that it has the antibacterial qualities. You would take the product, you can take it by the spoonful. Uh, a lot of people take it every day for uh, just general good health. You can mix it with other products, you can mix it with yogurt, you can mix it in your tea. Uh, for, it's a very good sweetener. Um, it's lovely to enhance the flavours, but it's also good for you. With the antibacterial qualities you have in the honey, it will uh, develop good gut control, so you have good balance in your gut. The key thing that Dr. Peter Molan found was that it kills Helibacter pylori, which is a bacteria that is in your gut. And it is the trigger that will create stomach ulcers. So if you are a person who has a high stress life, maybe you eat your food is a little rich or a little strong, maybe you should be eating manuka honey every day, particularly with a good UMF rating, so that it keeps a balance in your gut and your digestive system is really good. It's excellent for sore throats. A good mix of manuka honey with maybe lemon juice or ginger with hot water and make sure it's hot water. Don't put boiling water in on your honey because if you pour boiling water on your honey, you will sterilize the honey and all the goodness, all the antibacterial qualities will be gone. So just good hot water mixed with whatever flavor you like and honey as a great tonic to have in the evening. I've got a lot of people who mix it with milk and they, tell, they say it makes them sleep beautifully. About 20 years ago, Dr. Peter Molan, who was at the Waikato University, he found some special properties in the manuka honey. Now, before that, manuka honey was a honey that nobody really liked the taste of and it wasn't very popular. When he found this particular enzymes in the honey and these compounds, he realized it had special antibacterial properties. Through that and that research that he's done looking at uh, digestive problems in people, people taking a teaspoon of manuka honey per day, they have got um, better and the research has shown that it will actually kill specific bacteria in the stomach. From there, people have uh, learned about the honey, there's been research, there's been pr uh, projects done in hospitals with burn victims, with uh, digestive tract problems and um, it has grown. When people apply manuka honey to an external wound, all you have to do is put the honey on a bandage and cover the bandage over the wound. What the honey allows the wound to do is to uh, heal in the most optimum environment. It allows the body to produce the right amount of um, liquid and the honey works on healing that wound. It doesn't heal it too quickly or too slowly and they have found with the antibacterial properties in the honey, it heals the wound quickly, and one key component is the skin stays very flat and heals uh, most appropriately so you don't get a, a, a nasty looking scar afterwards. The manuka honey acts as a cover over the wound, so you don't have the problem of bandages sticking to the wound. The honey acts as a barrier, it covers the wound appropriately and doesn't get the wound too wet or too dry. And it's the most optimum healing environment. I personally think that Hadrils of Cambridge Manuka Honey is a fantastic gift. Uh, you can guarantee pretty much if you come to my place you will get a gift of honey, particularly our good Manuka Honey, as a gift. It's pure, it's natural, it's absolute true icon of New Zealand. It has all aspects of New Zealand wrapped up in a honey pot. It's clean, it's beautiful, it's natural and has a goodness to it that is really, really special.